so much for the house call. I have to find a way into that carriage. Are you? Prime Minister, I'm your new bodyguard, Jacob Fry. I wasn't informed of any new bodyguard. Who's your commanding officer? Let the boy speak, Dizzy. <laughs> Madam, apologies. But we've learned of a threat on your life. And the Met thought it best to move quickly. Threat? What sort of threat? <gasps> that sort. If you excuse me a moment. Fast, Your Excellency. Yeah. <laughs> 
time. It was Gladstone. Mm. I bet my life on it. This is perfectly in keeping with this distinct lack of character. Mm. Show Steady yourself, on. Gladstone! Show yourself, you feckless muck snipe! Mm. It was hardly going to be in the van with a capture or disease. about Gladstone, young man. I assure you, madam, Gladstone is innocent in this. But he tried to kill my husband. Well, we'll look into Gladstone. Perhaps you can help me with another inquiry, madam. A gentleman with ties to Parliament, older, wears cavalry uniforms and has a large mustache. You seem like a rough and ready sort of fellow, Mr. Fry. <laughs> well, yes, I am, actually. And are you familiar with the poorer districts of our city? Roughly. Wonderful. As it happens, I've been eager to tour the Devil's Acre. If you were to escort me, I'd be happy to assist you in your inquiry. That strikes me as a dangerous idea. Then it's settled. Come back here to Downing Street tomorrow night, eight o'clock sharp. Good day, Mr. Fry. But I... Good day, Mr. 